All right, so hopefully you've learned uh, the principles about our cat payload system that's standard on every next-gen loader. And then now an upgrade to that is our advanced payload system. So uh, with the advanced payload, you actually get a dedicated display that goes right here below the standard machine display. And with that, you also get some additional sensors. So tilt pressure sensors in the tilt circuit, a little bit more accurate for our tip-off assist. We get an IMU. So you've got your uh, accuracy on your inclines, uh, as well as some additional uh, other features as well, like list management, multitask mode. Let's just jump into the machine display here so you can kind of see some of the ad additional features that you actually do get with advanced payload. Uh, so like I said, a high definition display right here below it. So you've got a dedicated display for payload. Um, and then uh, you do not have to access this through the main menu any longer. Now you've got your own access through that payload system right here. So you got your bucket information on the right hand side, your cumulative weight and your passes. You got your bucket zero cal button, uh, your standby button, and then the mine, uh, your subtract off the last pass or zero out your truck button. Uh, and now if you want additional features, you can continue adding them in. So if you want a very basic, easy to read display, perfect. Uh, you've got your payload information here as well on this front monitor as well. But if you jump into the payload menu, you can see now your payload settings here. Likewise, just like the CAT payload standard, you do have a, a simple calibration feature set where you can fine tune that scale if you need to. If your deck scale was recently calibrated and you want to do some fine tune adjustments. Tip off mode, same thing here. You've got your auto. We do ship it with tip off disabled. And then we got the manual tip off that you learned about with our cat payload standard scale. And then you can tip off to the stockpile or the truck. This is your default mode shown right there and that's how you set it. Your weigh ranges, same thing. Start of weigh is at 50% and the range is 15. You shouldn't need to be modifying those if you do or give your dealer a call uh, and they can walk you through that. Uh, you've got lists. Uh, and what are lists all about? You've got a truck list, a material list, and four custom lists. You can turn those lists on or off here. If they are turned off, they don't show up on that uh, top display and, and convolute that uh, primary display for you. But if you wanna use a, a truck list or a material list or four custom IDs that you would program yourself, that way you can track data, like how much material you're moving into a hopper, how much material you're sending out with each of your customers. Uh, you can track that here as well as then retrieve it through this list management uh, feature set. There. Auto truck ID, auto material ID. If that is turned on, every time you press store, it takes you to that list management select so that you can select the next truck or the next material that you're gonna load out. The printer, basically a printer is uh, the ability to have a ticket printed. Uh, you've got a truck summary ticket, totals ticket, or the last truck stored. And then this printer tickets is, Every time you press store, do you want zero, one, two, or three tickets to print off for you? Uh, I see a lot of people using two tickets, one for themselves and one for their customer. But I'm gonna leave it set on zero, and this is where you would reset that. Now, underneath printer is the auto store passes. Our default is basically after 50 bucket dumps, this system will self-store so you don't lose your data, and then it sends it into your trip A, trip B on the standard payload, or into your list management features here. You can actually adjust that up to um, up to 999. I'm just gonna call it uh, 450 here, and after 450 bucket dumps, uh, this system will now self-store. Multitask mode, that is simply putting one task on pause, like a loading a rail car, keeping track of that payload data, and then going over to a second task and loading customer trucks, and then returning back to the task one you have to engage multitask mode if you want to use that and we'll show you how in a later module and then we do have manual add mode so instead of our auto calculator and every time we dump it forcefully adding that to the cumulative weight if you press the manual add button right here during your cycle that will then trigger that payload that bucket payload to be added to your cumulative weight. That's the features of this advanced payload system. We also do have, uh, as part of the advanced payload, the dispatch for ready loading system. And then this is where you would go to track your totals. So you got lifetime totals, truck, material, and four custom IDs that you could actually assign and retrieve data from. 
and then you've got your service menu. Service mode is disabled. If your dealer is going to calibrate this system, you do go into your main menu under service, enable your service mode, and then at that point, you could go into your service mode on your advanced payload and you could go into configurations, you could go into calibrations and that, that is where you would actually run through a, an empty bucket, a full bucket and a calibration weight, initial calibration. So fantastic tool. If you do find that you need to do some fine tune adjustments later on, we do have that simple cal feature set that is built into the scale as well. These are basically our feature sets of that scale. Um, now we're gonna get into some individual modules showing you individually how each of those work.